Hi everyone, Dr. Ashley Wojak here from Forward Natural Medicine and today I'm talking about type 2 diabetes and cholesterol because a lot of you are scared about elevated cholesterol and you also don't realize that cholesterol, elevated cholesterol is often a byproduct of poor blood sugar. So a lot of my type 2 diabetes patients also have elevated cholesterol. They oftentimes go hand in hand. That could be the case for you as well. So I wanted to go into why that might be and how we can actually fix both at the same time while you're a patient in our office. So what happens? You eat food and depending on the food, you know, this is something obviously we talk about, uh, diet and exercise are huge, but in general this is what happens. You're eating food and you're getting an elevation in blood glucose. So that's normal. You know, you have this blood glucose uh, in our, or should blood sugar kind of in our blood and in order for us to use that, it can't just be floating around in our body in our blood. We have to do something to make it useful for us to get that energy. So our brain tells our pancreas to make insulin. Insulin, insulin, tells blood glucose to go into our cells to make energy. So that's how we uh, have metabolism, get energy throughout the day and whatnot. So, but what happens with diabetes after months, after years of having these either blood sugar um, surges or chronic elevated blood glucose, you're going to get a lot of insulin because your brain's saying, oh, more blood glucose, we need more insulin. That'll try to constantly keep blood sugar or blood, or blood glucose going into our cells to make energy. But eventually our cells say, enough is enough. That's, you know, I can't take anymore, and they become resistant. That's how we get insulin resistance, no more. That's like if you went to work every day after months and years, and your boss was yelling at you every single day constantly like this, eventually you're not going to listen anymore. So think of it like that. But we can't just have elevated blood glucose in our blood. It, it has to go somewhere. It, so what happens if we can't go here into our cells, it will go into via lipogenesis, so the making of fat, it will literally go into triglycerides and then cholesterol. So that's why we have elevated triglycerides, LDLs, total cholesterol, uh, because it, it can't go there, so it has to go that way. And one thing we also do uh, in part of our lab work is we look at hemoglobin A1C. Some of you might be familiar with that, but along with just blood glucose, uh, which is, you know, a fasting blood glucose, what's your blood sugar like at that time? But hemoglobin A1C is so much better because it's a long-term average of blood glucose. So that fasting blood glucose might be fine, but when you look at hemoglobin A1C, it might be elevated. And that's saying over a long period of time, you're having an elevated glucose. So that's something we look at. So some of you are, might be on metformin or some form of uh, diabetes medication along with a statin or you know, cholesterol-lowering drug. But as we work through this and figure out, you know, most of the time it's a blood sugar issue that's causing your cholesterol. So while we are reversing your type 2 diabetes, you're most likely going to uh, have a, a lower cholesterol level. That'll eventually get better and you'll have better good cholesterol and lower bad cholesterol. So. That's just something we work on here in our office. So uh, I hope that was helpful. I'm Dr. Ashley Wojak. Thank you.